Hello, greetings. So firstly, um, we are so near to that special day of friendship and family and warmth and Mother Nature has been blessing us as well, which has been spectacular. So I hope you've really been enjoying this feeling of the build up and really like gathering all of these inner gifts that have just been shining through this time in this series. Um, let us watch our second last, hang on. Yep, our second last video of this lovely series of the Spirit of Christmas and see what it is that is there for you to sort of pick up and take into your heart. Greetings of peace. My name is Dr. Valentina Seth from the Seychelles and from the middle of the Indian Ocean, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Well, for me, the first time I saw a white Christmas because for us in, 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 in Africa, so you know, we're in the middle of the Indian Ocean and uh, now it's Christmas, so we're sending greetings from Seychelles to the, I'm in the Indian Ocean actually, and it's very warm, sunny, a lot of green everywhere. So there's no snow here. And you know, something we used to also put on the Christmas trees, those like white patches. And that used to represent the snow actually. So it reminds us in the spiritual sense, it reminds us for me, the angelic us that we are also like angels. You know, we have to become pure again. So yeah, so it gave us this feeling of uh, being again when it's all cold. Christmas is very cold when the snow fell and that was all, we all ran out of class to go and touch it and it all melted in our hands. And then at Christmas time, the, the, it's so beautiful because all the houses are with lights. You know, they put, um, it's typical German that they put lights like a, a, a an arc on the windows, you know, it's a typical Turinga light thing. So they put it on the lights, all the windows are lighted up. Like we have only the Christmas tree here, but then they'll have all the windows and stars and the Christmas tree itself, a lot of gift sharing and in the road and town, a big Christmas tree with a lot of boxes of gifts underneath. So a lot of uh, feeling of Christmas and for us, especially for the children. So it was a very nice feeling. And uh, the special smell during Christmas time is I think the smell of their cakes and their, uh, their cakes and biscuits are made from cinnamon. And even they mix all of that. So there's this, this, this flare in the air. So you have this Christmas feeling, yes, of Christmas. So it was very nice. It's a very uh, different feeling from being at home here. And then of course the lights on the Christmas tree represents our souls. We are all light beings. So that gives this connection. And no wonder there is so much connection with lights. Um, like even in Diwali, so much light connection because the soul itself is light. So there's, these are the tiny sparkling, twinkling stars that you see on the tree. And then of course, there's the gifts that we receive and it's because of love. We want to share our gifts. We don't want only to, to take from others, but we, we want to give just like the Supreme when he comes, he just comes to give us everything. He reminds us of all, of all our virtues and powers, which we have forgotten. We are not takers anymore, but we are givers. So in the same light at Christmas time, we give presents, we share what we have. And every time enjoy, even we share with those who are in need, who really are in need of it. So it's a time of, of giving and not only receiving, receiving. And especially this time, that's why you bring a lot of joy and happiness to those souls who cannot afford, for example. And that's why also during Christmas time, you have a lot of uh, people going out, giving donations, going to children's home or old people's home or the hospital. This is all a form of giving and, and sharing their love. A little gift, a little chocolate, a little sweet to sweeten them makes them so happy. You know, a little chocolate and <laughs> little gift, for example, in our case, when I first came from Germany personally, I would have my friends sending a parcel of the Stoller, which is the, the cake from Germany, which is typical, the cake from Germany, you know, with the, with the raisins in it, the Stoller. 
and then they would send chocolates also typical Christmas with the cinnamon taste you know that is so this connection it was still there so it's very interesting how we share during Christmas time and want to give to others and uh, you know the story of Christmas Christmas they say that uh, Father Christmas came in the night and he would come to bring gifts for us in the night so he passes through the chimney because the children are not supposed to see the gifts, no? They wake up early in the morning and then they seek the gifts under the tree. So for me, this depicts very well with Christmas. So for example, the darkness, the dark night when the father comes, that is the supreme, he comes in the night. And when he comes, he brings us gifts. What are the gifts? He comes to remind us who we truly are, that we are souls and we are not the body. So he brings us our gifts. And what are our gifts? Our gifts that we are full of virtues and powers, which we have forgotten because we have become body conscious. So he comes with all those gifts. And then the star, the star is him. He's the guy. So that is the, the, the star that is in the middle of the, of the tree, you know, high up. And they show this, they show so that the three wise men and the, and the star was a guide to show them where the Bethlehem, the story of the Christmas. So here it is where baby Jesus was sitting according to them. But for us now, it is the supreme soul that has come to guide us in the middle of this darkness to show us light again. So there we have another very, very sweet and lovely message from beautiful soul on the other side of the world. And I almost feel like the gift is really just seeing the diversity of Baba's children, of if we want to phrase it that way, or just the diversity of souls and people who have been touched by the message and the vibration that God is spreading through the world at this time. So that's just really, I think just that really, that sweet and easy simplicity of that. And yeah, even the gift of the window into other parts of the world that are celebrating almost that thing of being in one thought, like everyone is aware that it's Christmas at this time. And I think for me, that sense that there is a global unity no matter what physical environment you're in there's some unity there on some level who would love to share their little gift with everyone else i would love to see some emojis or friendly hands popping up was there something it wasn't you know a very deep churning but there was still such beauty in the simplicity of it ali yes there you go hello 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 um so uh, um looking uh through all these so many videos that we have seen i just wanted to share that there is that string that is uh, connecting all of them but what i take from today's video video was another feeling that comes out, uh, the feeling of the smell of what she was mentioning. Sister was, uh, Valentina was saying about uh, the smell of uh, baking and of cinnamon coming through. And it's such a beautiful picture that she painted for us. And that's, that's coming to mind in terms of um, there is so much that we can engage at Christmas uh, and so many uh, levels and parameters that work and senses of course that work mm -hmm. but um, as she mentioned there is that deep quiet uh, sense of the light that we can uh, also look into so yeah I think um, sh she did a very good job of connecting all these uh, many dots for me mm, beautiful thank you Would someone else like to share something? Nancy, yes. Hey. Hello. So, yeah, almost Christmas. And we are oh. on the 23rd. Ooh. <laughs> but um, what I love is how um, Sister Valentina shared that Christmas is about giving, giving, and giving. Mm. 
Mm. But actually, you really know, gave that feeling, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if we actually look at it, we mostly have thought about receiving. Like Santa would give this gift, Santa would get that gift, and I would receive this mm. or that. But um, it was a completely different angle, an angle of giving rather than receiving, which was a nice touch. I really like that angle, and made me think that oh. what do i look at it how do i look at it uh, do i look at receiving part or giving part so yeah it's interesting and well lovely sharing by her so simply and is so joyful as she was yeah sharing everything <laughs> wonderful thank you manthi um yeah i i definitely had that feeling as well this thing of just how abundant giving is and i'll i'll share with you all like on that personal level i've had a very interesting feeling towards my finances at this time it's like oh i could buy myself a christmas gift or i could treat like and i don't have the feeling that i want to do that what i want to do is actually buy gifts for my friends it's really interesting the way my energy is wanting to flow at this time it wants to give to others and i think that other little jewel from um from her video was that it can be so simple you know like a just a simple simple thing can be an act of giving and we know there is such an experience of full of ourselves filling up it's like the more we give the more we realize our capacity to give on every level and so i think that was um was definitely a theme of that little video as well so we're on 616 were there any last thoughts and i will wish you all a very very eve of eve of christmas <laughs> very very merry eve of eve of christmas and please remember if you want to share your thoughts around this little experience that we're having this series you can go to the google doc there's a link that um customers put in for us and tomorrow night will be our last night of the series so we won't actually thank you tim for the reminder and the message um we won't we'll have one more of these but that will be the eve of christmas so i wish you all actually for myself and with the love of the one who loves us all um and apparently tomorrow there's going to be a very special gift guest that we don't want to miss so make sure you're here wherever you are be where you are tomorrow at 6 p.m. <laughs> and have some digital device with a bit of zoom as well with a lot of love wishing you all a very beautiful evening and enjoy finding ways to give it's nourishing for our own hearts to just find simple ways to be generous with our time and our thoughts and our feelings and attitudes towards other people even when they don't necessarily demonstrate the capacity they have but they don't demonstrate the capacity to give in return so good night everyone and om shanti om shanti om shanti Thank you.